everyone, welcome to Mini and Me on the Road. Today is a special day because we have now been on the road for 12 months and still loving it. There have been highs and lows, but it is such a great way to live. I'm gonna do a separate video breaking down our costs for the last 12 months, but today I'm gonna share with you 10 highlights from our last 12 months. There have been so many highlights that it's super hard to pick just 10, but here we go. Number one, I reckon learning to tow, reverse, hitch and unhitch a caravan on my own is a highlight. I don't think of it as one now, but it definitely is. I have towed the caravan through cities, on freeways, on three ferries, including Mornington Peninsula, Bruny Island and the Spirit of Tasmania. And things haven't always gone to plan, but we love our home on wheels. Number two, kayaking on Lake Albert at Meningi in South Australia. We spent a week at the Lake Albert Caravan Park, which is right on the lake. The weather was perfect for a few kayaks after work. One night we got on the water, it was super calm, and I got to watch the sunset with Minnie. It was a magical evening and I later discovered that another camper had taken this beautiful photo of us out on the water. Number three was experiencing free off-grid camping for the first time. We went to the chain of lagoons on the east coast of Tasmania, but I was so nervous not knowing how it worked and what would happen, I nearly talked myself out of going. I am so glad I did go as it was three weeks in a beautiful campground with no facilities and I loved it. The hunter-gatherer part came out. Well, not so much the hunting, but more the gathering of supplies such as gas refills, water refills and toilet canister emptying. We had an amazing time including swimming in the lagoon and capturing the aurora, which leads into number four, seeing and capturing the aurora australis. I've missed the two biggest Aurora Australis events since I've been in Tasmania, which has been disappointing. So I was super excited when at Chainer Lagoons to capture the Aurora three nights in a row. There's something really special about sitting on the beach as the camera clicks away watching the night sky. I also got to see the green reflection of a meteor in the lagoon and my camera just happened to be pointing the right direction to capture it. Number five was seeing a platypus and wombat in the wild. Seeing these beautiful animals appear in their natural environment was such a special moment. I spent hours waiting for a platypus to appear and often they never did. So when one finally decided to appear, I was awestruck. Number six was our stay at the Lang Lang Foreshore Caravan Park in Victoria. Some people may see this as a low light, but I see it as a highlight, as it was quite a unique experience, watching my caravan being hit by huge waves as the sun set, when a massive king tide decided to come and flood the caravan park. Thankfully, everything survived. Number seven was hiking to Montezuma Falls in Tasmania with Minnie. It was a long walk for both of us, as neither of us are fit at the moment, but it was flat and absolutely stunning rainforest with a tunnel along the way. We set off early and when we arrived at the waterfall, we found we had it all to ourselves. I was able to set up my camera to take photos automatically as Minnie and me made our way to the bottom of the falls. We discovered that Minnie didn't like the noise and the spray of the waterfall, so she cuddled into me to feel safe. Feeling her snuggled in was a really special moment that I captured on camera. Number eight was seeing bioluminance in the ocean at Sandy Bay, Hobart. Google says this is a natural phenomenon, usually from an algae bloom of plankton. When there is lots of bioluminance in the sea, it will glow when it's disturbed by a wave breaking or a splash in the water at night. I hadn't heard of this before, but it popped up on my Facebook feed and I had to track it down. This spot is a regular bioluminance and I happened to run into another couple who were seeing it for the first time too. A shared experience is a special moment. 
When I first got there, it was appearing on every third or fourth wave, but by the time I headed off, it was in the shallow water and I felt like a child again, jumping and splashing in the water. Number nine was camping in the snow at the Great Lakes Hotel in Tasmania. I've seen a lot of snow, mostly when I was hiking through it in the Himalayas, but I'd never camped in it and it was something I wanted to do when I got my European caravan. When I booked my powered site at the Great Lakes Hotel, I was really hoping for snow, but it was October and I didn't know how likely this would be. To have it snowing as I was driving in and then waking up to this view was an absolute delight. Number 10 was sitting drinking coffee at the Cubed Espresso Bar at Eagle Hawk Neck in Tasmania. It was my birthday and Minnie and me headed to Tasman Peninsula for the day. Our first stop was the Cubed Espresso Bar. It's a coffee van on the side of the road, a few chairs and tables overlooking this beautiful bay as music played from the cafe. I had Minnie by my side and in this simple moment I reflected and realised that this is what life is all about. These little moments with your companion by your side. This special moment is now the branding for our Minnie and Me YouTube channel.